dear students welcome back from today we are going to follow a new uh, format of online teaching now we'll teach you uh, section wise means this um, particular math class is only for class 10th a okay and whatever i am going to teach on the uh, on the board i'll send you a pdf of that and now it is your duty to uh, to make a notebook exclusively for uh, maths and you copy all the things that i teach here using that pdf in that notebook whenever the school reopens uh, we'll evaluate those notebooks and uh, we'll give you some marks on it and during your exams also you can revise from those notebooks because most of the questions in the exams will be from those pdfs or from your notebook only okay so make it a point to copy whatever i teach here on the board in your notebook moreover uh, we'll revise few topics also uh, and today's topic is polynomials now you have already uh, studied about polynomials uh, in class 9th also you know that a polynomial is uh, an algebraic expression in which the powers of the unknown are all whole numbers i'll give you an example suppose px is a polynomial like it is equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d like this now you see in this polynomial the unknown is x because a b c d are constants the unknown is x and the powers of unknown in different terms it, here it is 3 2 1 and no x is there that means the power is 0 that means powers are whole numbers so make it, so always remember in a polynomial the powers of the unknown should be whole numbers and now the highest power of the unknown in a polynomial gives its degree so degree of px is 3 as you can see here the highest power of x is 3 so the degree of px is 3 likewise i will write one more example here this is the first now the second uh, ax square plus bx plus c like this so as you can see here the highest power of x is 2 so degree of px is 2 and then one more example here you can see the highest power of x is 1 so degree of px is 1 here clear okay so that is the degree of a polynomial now a polynomial although poly means it can have any degree but a polynomial with uh, with uh, degree 1 is called a linear polynomial linear it is called a linear polynomial then the degree of uh, a polynomial with degree 2 is called the quadratic polynomial so a polynomial with degree 2 is called a quadratic okay and a polynomial with degree 3 is called a cubic polynomial so i hope it is clear to you 
about the polynomials now i am going to tell you about the zeros of a polynomial So what are the zeros of a polynomial? Suppose Px, let Px is a polynomial such that, such that Pk is equal to 0. K is any uh, real number such that pk is equal to 0 then k is called the zero of the polynomial okay so i repeat if px is a polynomial such that pk is equal to 0 where then k is called the zero of that polynomial now see this example will make the things more clear suppose px is equal to 5x minus 8 there is a polynomial px which is equal to 5x minus 8 you can see as the highest power of x here is 1 so it is a linear polynomial now, if it is a linear polynomial, now uh, as it is given that for, uh, for to find the zero of a polynomial, px or pk, first you find pk, so pk is 5k minus 8 and put pk is equal to 0 means 5k minus 8 is equal to 0, so k is equal to 8 upon 5, okay? That means 8 upon 5 is a 0 of the given polynomial. 8 upon 5 is the 0 of the given polynomial. Okay? Because uh, you see pk is 0. So the value of, uh, when we put pk is equal to 0, the value of k is 8 by 5 so 8 by 5 is the 0 of the given polynomial now when the highest power of x is 1 in the polynomial means it is a linear polynomial then the number of zeros will be 1 only as you can see here when the highest power of x in the polynomial is 2 means it is a quadratic polynomial then the number of zeros will be 2 and if the highest power of x in the polynomial is 3 then the number of zeros means it is a cubic polynomial then the number of zeros will be 3 clear so this is an example of a linear uh, polynomial and you can see we are getting one zero that is the meaning of zero of a polynomial now i'll give you a few more example of uh, zeros of polynomials
Now see, suppose there is a polynomial px is equal to x square minus 5x plus 6. x square minus 5x plus 6. Now, we want to find the number, the zeros of this polynomial. As you can see, the highest power of x here is 2, means it's a quadratic polynomial. And I just told you that in the quadratic polynomial, the number of zeros will be 2. So, uh, if you find pk, that will be k square minus 5k plus 6. Put p k is equal to 0 means k square minus 5k plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, you already know how to factorize this expression by splitting the middle term. So, uh, it can be written as k square minus 3k minus 2k plus 6. Now, from these two terms, you take k common. So, k minus 3. From these two terms, you take minus 2 common. So, it is also k minus 3. Now, k minus 3 in one bracket, k minus 2 in the other bracket is equal to 0. Now, k minus 3 is equal to 0. k minus 3 is equal to 0. You know when the product of two expressions is equal to 0, then one of them has to be 0. The, the product of two non-zero numbers cannot be equal to 0. So, when the product of these two numbers is equal to 0, so 1 has to be uh, 0. So, if k minus 3 is equal to 0, then k is equal to 3. If k minus 2 is equal to 0, then k is equal to 2. Now, you can see k have two values, 3 and 2, zeros of the given uh, polynomial are 3 and 2. So, you can see there are two zeros of the given given polynomial as I told you the number the given the given polynomial polynomial has two zeros that is 3 and 2. Clear? Now one more example. Again another polynomial this time p x is equal to x square plus 3x minus 4. Once again it is a quadratic polynomial that means there must be two zeros of this polynomial. Now, in case of uh, these zeros are also called the roots of the uh, polynomial. Now, here uh, pk will be equal to k square plus 3k minus 4. Now, put pk is equal to 0. That is k square plus 3k minus 4 is equal to 0. Once again, you will factorize it by splitting the middle term. So, you will write k square. 3k can be written as 4k minus k because 4k minus k is 3k minus 4. Now, from first two terms, you can take k common. So, it is k plus 4. Next two terms, you can take minus sign common. So, again k plus 4. So, k plus 4 in one bracket and in the other bracket k minus 1 is equal to 0. Once again, as you can see, the product of two numbers is equal to 0. So, the one, num one uh, at least one of them has to be 0. So, if k plus 4 is equal to 0, if k plus 4 is equal to 0, then k is equal to minus 4. If k minus 1 is equal to 0, k is equal to 1. So, the zeros of this uh, this polynomial are minus 4 and 1. Okay? Zeros of the given polynomial are minus 4 and 1.
So geometrical meaning of zeros of a polynomial. Suppose there is a polynomial Px is equal to 3x minus 18 upon 2. Suppose Px is equal to 3x minus 18 upon 2. This is a polynomial in x, definitely a linear polynomial because the highest bar of x is 1. Now we can plot this polynomial on uh, a graph paper. Now what we have to do, the, the, we will take with different values of x and uh, corresponding values of Px will uh, plot on y axis. So first of all, x and px. Now suppose x is 2. Here when you put x is equal to 2, so 3 into 2 will be 6. 6 minus 18 is minus 12. Minus 12 upon 2 is minus 6. Clear? Then if x is equal to 4, then 4 into 3 is 12, 12 minus 18 is minus 6, minus 6 upon 2 is minus 3, okay? And then if you put x is equal to say 8, so 8 into 3 is 24, 24 minus 8 will be, 18 will be 6, 6 upon 2 is 3, okay? So these are values of x and the corresponding values of px. So as I told you, we'll plot px on the y-axis. This is x and this is px. Now, Now you see, when x is 2, px is minus 6, x is 2, and px is minus 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, here it is minus 6, when x is 2, px is minus 6, then when x is 4, px is minus 3. When x is 4, px is minus 3 and when x is 8 px is 3 almost here when x is 8 px is 3 now as i told you initially that this is a linear polynomial that means if we uh, join these points we will get a straight line you can see, although I have made it with rough hands, but we will get a straight line over here. Clear? Now,
now you see definitely it is a straight line and as it is a straight line it will cut the x axis only at one place at one place uh, means uh, where, where the where the graph cuts the x axis actually there y is equal to 0 y means the px is 0 and you know that is that is how we find the zero of a polynomial so here you can see here our graph that linear graph it is intersecting the x-axis means here px is 0 and if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 here x is equal to 6 so you can see at x is equal to 6 px is 0 at x is equal to 6 px is equal to 0 so uh, x is equal to 6 so 6 is a 0 of the polynomial okay so 6 is a 0 of the polynomial so now it's clear to you that why in linear polynomials we have only one zero because when you draw the graph the graph is a straight line so it will cut it will intersect the x-axis only at one point so only at one point px is equal to zero that is why we have only one zero clear Now I'll give you one more example. Suppose Px is equal to x square plus 3x minus 4. You can see it is a quadratic polynomials it must have two zeros we have already found the zeros of this polynomial now i'll explain the geometrical meaning of the of the zeros of a quadratic polynomial now once again if we want to plot we want to plot this uh, this uh, polynomial on a graph paper you know for various values of x the ph will be plotted on y axis so first of all you make a table x and px now see first of all here you put x is equal to minus 2 p of minus 2 see minus 2 is square plus 3 into minus 2 minus 4 that is minus 2 square will be 4 minus 6 minus 4 so it is coming out to be minus 6 so when x is minus 2 px is minus 6 then you put x is equal to minus 1 in this expression you put x is equal to minus 1 that is 1 because you know the square of a negative number gives you positive so 1 then minus 3 then minus 4 okay and now you will have minus 4 and minus 3 is uh, minus 7 plus 1 minus 6 once again then put p is equal to 0 over there so 0 plus 0 minus 4 it is equal to minus 4 
and then P1. So this is minus 6 and this is minus 4. Now P1. When you put x is equal to 1 there, 1 is square plus 3 into 1 minus 4 and 1 plus 3 is 4 minus 4 that is 0. So add 1 we are getting 0. Clear? Then you put x is equal to 2 here. So 2 square plus 3 into 2 minus 4. See 2 square is 4 plus 4 minus 4 cancelled. So 6. Okay. So 6. I think this much will be sufficient. Now if we uh, plot it. You see when x is uh, minus 2, x is minus 2 here, the value of uh, px is minus 6. almost here okay then you see when x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 px is minus 4 here x is equal to 0 px is minus 4 means here okay then you see when x is equal to 1 px is 0 here okay like this And then when x is equal to 2, px is 6. Like this. Okay? Now, now, uh, if you put here, x is equal to minus 4 in this expression. So you can see minus 4 square plus 3 into minus 4 minus 4. Minus 4 square will be plus 16 minus 12 minus 4. You can see it is equal to 0. That means that x is equal to minus 4. We will be having a 0 like this. So you can see this time. The curve is not a straight line, but it is a, it is a, the, 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 the graph is not a straight line, it is a curve. And as it is a curve, it will intersect the x-axis at two points. That means the x-axis, uh, it intersects x-axis at two points. That means at two points, for two values of x, the px will be zero. Here, those values are 1 is uh, 1 for x is equal to 1 you can see px is equal to 0 and for x is equal to minus 4 for x is equal to 1 px is equal to 0 and for x is equal to minus 4 px is equal to 0. So we have two different values of x for which px is 0 that means it has two zeros. So this is the geometrical explanation why a quadratic uh, polynomial has two zeros. You can see because a quadratic polynomial intersects, if we draw the graph, it intersects x-axis at two points. So 1 and minus 4 are the zeros of the of px of the polynomial or of px clear so in the next class i will tell you about how what is the re relation between the zeros of a polynomial and the coefficients of uh, various terms in a polynomial